Hey, it's Anna hanging out uh, in an office park uh, because park is in the name and so I feel like I ought to uh, at least inspect the mushrooms that are here. Um, I want to show you what I think is one of my favorite uh, polypore species that's really common in the southeastern United States. Uh, it's called Ganoderma curtisi. Um, also, the common name is golden reishi. So this is a medicinal mushroom in the Ganoderma genus, which is inclusive of a lot of really cool mushrooms, many of which are, um, again, highly medicinal. Uh, reishi is a Japanese name um, that you will, you know, find this mushroom in a variety of teas and, uh, you know, uh, commercial supplements, etc. So it's supposed to be um, you know, a general health tonic. There's tons of material and tons of people who know more about it than I do. So I'm not going to hold forth on that. Uh, but I will tell you how to identify this mushroom. It's super common in North Carolina. It grows on wood and, um, you know, you'll very frequently find it at the base of trees or in this case, you know, a, a tree that's been felled. So it's, uh, consuming the wood and uh, produces fruit, at least in um, this season, a couple of times. Uh, the mushrooms themselves uh, are of reasonable size, and you'll often find them, you know, get to be the size of, uh, of your hand or larger. Um, and uh, the things that are distinguishing um, about this particular species and about a lot of reishi mushrooms is that they have this uh, sort of fine mahogany color and these uh, have started to actually uh, sort of sporulate and get dusty but if you brush it off you'll see that it's got this you know nice varnished appearance um, and so oftentimes when they're fresh they're actually quite shiny but these are dried out so um, you, you know you have this color and sort of um, a smooth surface and it sort of feels enameled uh, the mushroom itself is not like actually super duper uh, woody this one's fairly uh, brittle, but um, it does have flesh in the middle. And I mention that because a lot of like shelving bracket fungus is just as hard as trying to crack through a piece of wood. Whereas this, um, even this one has a little bit of give, a little bit of squish, but when they're, um, you know, in prime condition to be harvested, you can give them a nice uh, squeeze and that they're kind of um, spongy uh, and will bounce back. So anyway, you, you have these, um, you know, uh, also, distinctive concentric, concentric growth zones on the fruiting body itself. So you can see sort of um, a couple of, you know, uh, concentric ridges here. They're not very deep. They're more visual than actually something you can feel, but it does have um, a nice sort of, uh, you know, a couple of ribs along um, the surface of the mushroom. It is a polypore, meaning that the spores come out of uh, a surface that's just basically a whole lot of really small uh, pores. In the case of a reishi that's nice and young, this will be completely white. This one is uh, older, it is still white, but it's just really dried out. Um, I really dig reishi mushrooms for a couple of reasons. I mean, of course, they're really pretty. I do like making um, tinctures out of them. It's kind of pleasant. I'm not as into the medicinal mushroom thing as some people, but tincturing is very easy and very rewarding because it actually tastes pretty good. Um, Mostly, honestly, it's because they look so cool that I'm uh, attracted to them. And uh, because they are not, like, uh, you know, really determinate, they can kind of take any shape as they grow, you end up with these really cool growth forms kind of dependent on where they're growing and what habitat. Uh, but mostly I'm a huge fan of what is kind of considered also uh, a traditional reishi look. So, like, if you see them in commercial culture, you'll often see this... Um, the light isn't terribly good, but you can see it's kind of got a uh, narrow stem and then a circular disc at the top. So this is why I like it, because it looks a lot like Starship Enterprise, and uh, I know that's super ridiculous, but that was the first thing I saw, the first, uh, first thing I thought the first time I saw a picture of a reishi, and so uh, ever since then I've uh, been a big fan of finding them. But uh, Golden Reishi, really cool. Um, you can see why they call it that, you know, a lot of these uh, Ganoderma mushrooms kind of stay that darker mahogany color, but as these age, they uh, start to take on this, um, you know, really fine, almost uh, like uh, fine mahogany desk, basically. Um, so really gorgeous mushroom, even when it's in kind of crappy condition, which these certainly are.